Hey guys, Miles here. Just wanted to get you started with some quick flash drawing uh, overview tips. So I've got flash open here. I'm going to choose a new file, new document here. And uh, just for the default in this class, we'll be using uh, ActionScript 3.0. Uh, though sometimes you'll want to change that if you're using some old school code, but just that's something to pay attention to because that will behave very differently if you get into any programming. Uh, we'll say OK. And we've got our uh, stage or document out here. If you want to change the size of this, modify document. Uh, this is also where you can change your frame rate. Uh, so let's say I'll change this to, I don't know, square canvas. Um, and now we've got a square out here. I can change it back again. So that's where you change your uh, document size. And because Flash is vector-based, <coughs> you can always enlarge and scale things to your heart's content without fear of... Uh, trouble. So if you if you if your window looks different from this, just go up here to window, workspace, essentials, and you could even do reset essentials, and it'll take you back to the default. You've got your timeline down here, the document stage up here, uh, and the toolbar over here, and the properties uh, palette over here. If you need to open another palette, they're up here under Window, and these are the lists of all the palettes up here. All right, um, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and start off with the brush tool right over here. Uh, you can hold your cursor over there, let go of the mouse, and you'll see that it says B, Brush Tool B. That's the keyboard shortcut, and that's what I'll be using most of the time. <clears throat> the other tools we're going to cover today will be the eraser, E. You can also just flip your pen over and use that eraser. Um, and we'll be using these quite a bit. The selection tool, V. <coughs> and the subselection tool, we won't use that as much, but just it's a good tool to kind of understand how it works, A. We'll also be using the paint bucket tool, which is K, and the eyedropper, I. So you'll notice down here these two swatches. Uh, one of these is the fill color, and one of them is the stroke color. The fill color is the one that we'll be using anytime we use the brush. So we'll use that paint bucket color. And the other thing I was going to show you is down here you can change your brush size. Make it bigger or smaller. And you can change your brush shape if you want. I'll just leave it on the circle. And right here, you have the Use Pressure option, which we'll want to turn on and off as we feel like it. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. And it's going to start drawing in this lovely aqua color out here. I've got my brush selected. Go out here. something do a little erasing <clears throat> all right lovely Now, because Flash is, like I said, it's a vector-based program, let me just run you through some of the things that you can do with it because it's a vector-based program. I, I can get the selection tool and just click and drag diagonally, and I've selected the whole thing. And then just by changing the new fill color, I instantly change everything that has been selected. Instead of using these system palette swatches, I can also go up here and use the color wheel, that little circle icon, and then I can mix a custom color so I'm not locked into um, the system palette. <clears throat> I 
I can also select this whole thing and click on this little number up here, which the shortcut for this is Q, and I use the Q shortcut all the time, it's the free transform tool. So in Photoshop you might know that as Command T, but here we use Q, and now I've got, I can scale this. Now if I just go ahead and start grabbing this, I'll get some pretty screwy results that I don't necessarily want. So I'll hit undo, which is Command Z. And I'll hold down the shift key, keep it held down, and then when I scale it, it maintains the proportions, which is what I want. So I can scale that down. Now I can zoom in on that little area by clicking the magnify tool, the zoom tool rather, the shortcut for which is M, as in miles. So I click on that and then I can just uh, drag another box across and it'll zoom me in on that. And like we said, you can zoom in as much as you want and you'll see that the line stays smooth. So now I'll zoom back out with the magnify tool. I just hold down the option key and click, 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 and it zooms me back out. Um, <clears throat> you can also use command plus and command minus to zoom in and out. Um, and then what I tend to use is hold down the space bar and the command key at the same time and that gives you the magnifying glass so you can just zoom in and then hold down space bar command option and that gives you the zoom out. The other one that I use a lot is command 2 which shows you the whole uh, workspace or rather the, the whole uh, document stage and command 3 which zooms you in on however much you've got drawn even if it's outside of the workspace. So Command-2 to zoom back out and see everything, and Command-3 to zoom in on your drawing. Uh, so that's a quick overview of some of the real basics there. I'll stop the video here, uh, and you guys should mess around with that, but I'll come back uh, and show you some more stuff.